So we have an arithmetic progression with Emmet term is given by 164. And also the sum up to the n number of terms, that's 3n squared plus 5n. Now we need to find out the value of m. So let's begin. First, we will consider that let's say there are n number of terms in a given arithmetic progression. Then it's given here that the sum up to the n number of terms, that's 3n squared plus 5n. So this is the sum up to the n number of terms. Assuming we have a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4. So let's say this is our sum up to the n number of terms. This goes on and on to the nth term. Now what we're going to do, we're going to replace the value of n with n minus 1. So when we do, when we replace n with n minus 1, then s of n, n will become n minus 1. This will be equals to 3 times. All we're doing is replacing the value of n with n minus 1. So I have 3 times n minus 1 squared plus 5 times n minus 1. So let's solve this. So we have 3 multiplied to expanding n minus 1 whole squared. We have n squared minus 2n plus 1 plus 5n minus 5. This is going to be equals to 3n squared. The so 3 times 2n will be 6n plus 3 plus 5n minus 5, which will be equals to 3n squared minus n minus 2. So this is the value of s of n minus 1. Actually, uh, s of n minus 1 simply represents we consider the same arithmetic progression, then we find out the sum up to the term which is previous to the nth term, that means up to a n minus 1. So this is what we are trying to do. Now, if we subtract s n minus 1 from s of n, then this is going to leave us with the nth term. That means our s n term that goes from a1 to a n. And from here, from here to the previous term of a n, this is going to be simply s of n minus 1. So when you subtract s of n uh, minus 1 from s of n, this is only going to leave us with the nth term. Now let's do that. We already have the value of s n, so that's 3n squared plus 5n. And from it, we are going to subtract this value, which is negative 3n squared plus n plus 2. Uh, this is going to be equals to a n, the nth term. The 3n squared, negative 3n squared. So 5n plus 5n as n will be 6n plus 2. Now this is equals to our nth term. So that means our nth term is given by the form 6n plus 2. Right. Now here, the mth term is given is 164. So here it's given here that our mth term, that means am, that's 164. And we have obtained that our nth term is given by a n equals to 6 n plus 2. So that means if we want to find out the m -th term, all we have to do is replace the value of n with m. So we have 6 m plus 2. So we have 6 m plus 2. This is equals to 164. So let's solve for the value of m using this equation. So we have 6 m equals to 164 minus 2 will be 162. So that means m value will be equals to 162 divided by 6. Now we know that 6 times uh, 2 uh, as 12 and that leaves us with 42 so 27 so that meant the value of m is going to be equals to 27